Another thing you might spot in the outfield, a stray cat. Natasha and Gary, there are a few that call Coors Field home, apparently. Yeah, it's uh, it's strange, but there's a number of them that just shoot around here. They call Coors Field home. Yeah, one of them was a TV star last year. Yeah, one of them was. I was yeah. here at that game. It was the highlight <laughs> of the game. Uh, and one of them even has its own Twitter page. So there are volunteers that come here and feed the cats, take care of the cats. Uh, and one woman is now catching them. Her name is Jenny Lee. She's working to trap, neuter, and return the cats of Coors Field. It's a well-known approach called TNR, and its goal is to keep feral cat communities from growing. So far, Lee has been able to catch two of the feral cats. She returned one of them, and the other actually showed signs of domestication. When we do TNR, I mean, the, the end goal is to have fewer cats on the street and outside. So we decided we would give him a chance, and he's just decided he likes the indoor life. So that cat's name is Junior. He's up for adoption. And if you're wondering about that rugged gray cat that you mentioned, Gary, that shot across the field last yep. season, uh, he Lee tells us that she has not spotted it. The cat lives on the other side of the ballpark where the public does not have access. So they've made themselves home here at Coors New Field. New mascots. Who New knew, mascots. Right? They're yeah, cute. Absolutely. Hey.